Hey, hey, what is up, Andrew? It is YouTube here again. We are back with another PayPal request. This one is for my buddy, John Carney. I'm gonna read out his message. Have always enjoyed your reaction videos. Keep up the good work. Very kind words. Wouldn't be surprised if you have already been requested to react to this one. Chad Smith on Dromeo improvising 30 seconds to Mars on first listen. Looking forward to seeing the react video. Thanks again for the great content. John Carney, thank you so much for this pick. Yes, I have seen this one popping up on the social medias. I've been avoiding it uh, because I knew I was going to get to it pretty soon. So here we are. All right, guys, just real quick before we start this video, I'm just tracking through because uh, I was toying with the idea of whether I was going to actually listen to the original song myself because I don't know this song. Uh, but I can see as I track through that... There is a segment where Chad Smith is going to listen to the track himself. So I'm just going to do what Chad did. I'm just going to play it by ear like Chad did on this video and go along with him for the ride. Guys, by the way, original video link in the description of the video. Go check it out. Go and subscribe to Drumeo. And you guys, as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Drumeo. Go learn from the world's best drummers, the world's best drum educators. There is so much stuff over there. It is absolutely mind blowing. I could not live without it. All right. I have done a few of these videos now where Drumio brings someone in and puts them in the hot seat. Uh, the Lionel Lewis one, a couple of others, and they are always very, very interesting. Chad Smith hears 30 seconds to Mars for the first time. Let's check it out. Do you, you know the song? Have you heard it? What the f*** was that? Wow, that's sounding good. It's some kind of emo thing. I don't know what the <laughs> f*** it is. I feel violated. Do you want another pass? Do you no. Do different or... Uh... No. Okay, nice. No, I okay. f***ing nailed it. Maybe we're not going to hear much of that oh, original man. track. What do you got? Chad, how are you feeling? You, are you scared? Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Why, why are you nervous? What, what kind of music makes you uh, terrified? Anything I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, you're in the right place. That is such a profound point. What makes you nervous? What makes Chad Smith, a stadium level drummer, nervous? Play music he doesn't know. Let's come back to that at the end of the video. It's a very, very important point to fully understand. Because uh, I've wanted to do this video with you for a long Ooh. time. Okay, great. Hey, so you guys do this thing where you play songs that that that, other, that drummers don't know or or probably aren't familiar with. Isn't necessarily their style, yeah. so to speak. This was a hard one to prep for because you're a, you're a drum nerd and you know a lot of music. So uh, we have a few options. So if you know the first one, you got to <laughs> let me know. You, I know it. I'm playing it. <laughs> I don't know this one. <laughs> Got to find something that he doesn't know. So here comes some music that I've probably never heard before, this and is, I'm going to try to play along too. This is really putting yourself out there. For a famous drummer, this is really putting yourself out there and potentially, how can I put it? Potentially might not look so good. So it's uh, it's a very, very interesting concept. I'm to it and, and do my best. I uh, take a good musical stab at it and, and see if I can make sense out of it. What if I wanted to break? Oh, he's Life hearing the drums. Oh, he's not going to oh, be hearing the drums. Mm. Yeah. I think. What if I fell to the Is floor? It? Couldn't tell this anymore. What would you do? 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 That sounds amazing. Oh! Jeez. What if I wanted to fight? Oh my god. Is that it? Are we just in? Wow. 
even getting the accent crash, uh, ride crash bass drum hits. Oh, man. Breakdown. <laughs> He's having fun too. He's got all the stops, everything. Oh, he's just having fun now. <laughs> oh, stop right what at the, the end. F- what was that? <laughs> Is that like my chemical romance or something? That was actually a really good guess. That was close. That was pretty close. Do you, do you know the song? Have you heard it? It's some kind of emo thing. I don't know what <laughs> it is. What is that? Wait, wait. <laughs> um, I don't know. The, uh, the song is called The Kill. The yep. band is 30 Seconds cool to song Mars. Too. Ah, Jared's band. Jared Leto. Yes. And it, well, his brother is the drummer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the drummer too, Shen um, Leto. Not as terrifying as you thought? No. I was like, once I figured out it was in three, I was like, okay, I can kind of play along to this. It'd be interesting to hear what the actual drum <laughs> part is. I'm sure it's not as busy as that. Well, we'll, we'll play you the original. Uh, before we do that, do you want another pass? Do you want to, is there anything you no. want to do different or? Uh, no. Okay, nice. No, I nailed it. (laughs) I love that attitude. Do you want another pass? No, No, that's good. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, yeah, right. (laughs) Shaded, Chad. We'll play you the original. Okay. You can hear the part. Okay. Here it is. That's fun. That was a very close. That's exactly what he played. He did, he did one of those hi-hat flourishes, too. Did the tom bit and the tom part? <laughs> oh, you got pretty close. That wasn't bad. Well, we might have Man, to do another you, one. You no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm going to call Jared and say, you know, if your brother gets sick, man. Just... Yeah, you got a new gig. Yeah. Get, uh, get Flea to join you? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well... <laughs> 
What? I got a washer though. <laughs> yeah, this looks like from a from a snare tension rod. Mm, must be a drummer. That broke a stick in that song. Heavy Woo! hard man. He went full in. Hell, fifty seconds to Mars. <laughs> I feel violated. <laughs> um, so I just played to this song that I didn't know, and, and it was it was fun because I love improvising and jamming to like new music and whatever it is. And um, you know, this is not my normal wheelhouse, this kind of thing. But um, I don't think you it's know, that just far trying away. to listen to the what I think the arrangement's going to be and where there's going with verse, chorus, and breakdowns and verses and try to play what's right. But I don't know, I had a lot of energy in that song, so I just decided to uh, inappropriate over, over, play, overplay, which is, uh, you know, kind of fun. But, you know, let's get back to that I know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, some real quick style analysis. I was going to pause it again in there. At one point where you could clearly see on Chad's right hand how high the stick was. The stick was sort of, the butt of the stick was sitting right in the palm of his hand. Like It creates a really big fan with the stick and really long levers. He's a tall guy, I think. I think he's a tall guy. He seems like a tall guy to me. Um, and he creates these really long levers and it has this effect of hitting really hard. As you can see there, he broke a stick during the take. Um, and just really flowing technique really awesome on that uh another thing just before we get to the sort of i guess the take and i guess how i felt about that um one interesting thing i have noticed about chad smith in the past is he tends to i don't think it's on purpose but he tends to ghost the bass drums that's something that i haven't really seen a lot and it's I mean, to be completely honest, it's probably something that people will tell you not to do. I think it's a good example of screw that, you play. And if you play with heart and soul, you will steamroll anything like that. Now, I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do. I, I mean, I've just heard, you know, that from engineers and producers, you know, how can we tidy up your kick plane and uh, we don't want any feathering on the kick because, you know, it's it's extra hits and we start getting into compression and gating and we could be getting into trouble. So we want clear, even kick hits. And when you're not doing those kick strikes, nothing like silence or you hit it. No in between, right? Like on the snare, how you've got ghost notes, obviously. Um, and I guess even dynamics on the toms, cymbals kick seems to be binary <laughs> off or on and i've noticed in the past and i saw a little bit there that chad smith sort of breaks that rule and again i always come back to this and this always gets taken the wrong way as i'm critiquing these legendary drummers i'm not i'm saying there are no rules so screw that you just play you play from the heart and soul and if you play with heart and soul like chad smith clearly does all of that technical or things, you can turn that into your advantage. Put it that way. You can flip it and make it a trademark thing. Yeah, I ghost on the kick. Live with it. Maybe it adds to the percolating groove like a snare ghost. Maybe it's a whole new thing. Ghosting on the kick. There you go. I mean, jazz players have done it for years, feathering the kick drum. Anyway, I'll move on from that point. I know it's going to get taken the wrong way, but... Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. How dare you? I am stunned how close he seemed to get to the original part. And I thought when I mentioned that, oh, this is going to be drumless, because I think on the other drumio, you know, listen first time, play along things, they also were listening to a drumless version, which blows people's minds because they're like, well, how do they know how to play? Well, yeah, they're listening to the music and they're improvising a part quickly. Um, and it's fascinating to see what they come up with in the moment in a pressure situation. My other big takeaway from this video, and this is something that I talk to students about, it's something that I talk to my drummer uh, and drum teacher, you know, working drummer and drum teacher friends about, being nervous. Now, being nervous is always 
seen as a obviously you know a bad thing and we have to stomp out those nerves and you know i'm bringing this up because he said he was nervous at the start because he hadn't heard the song he's playing the song he doesn't know you're potentially going to fall flat on your face right so he has been one of the most famous drummers i guess in the world he's a household name um for decades i believe since the 80s with 80s or at least early 90s with the chili peppers and he will still freely admit he gets nervous he doesn't know the song now this is really important i think to understand it's not a bad thing to be nervous in itself it's could be counterproductive if you're let's say he was getting extremely nervous or anxious before just a regular red hot chili peppers show then we might have an issue because you know that's gonna possibly eat away at him and degrade from his performance and build on anxiety being nervous because you've never played a song before and you're about to play it and this is getting filmed and recorded and it's going to be watched by millions of people that's totally different that is sort of more on the excitement world right you're excited and there's a bit on the line yeah everyone's got an ego i wouldn't want to be doing a first take song and you know i might just make a real hash of it so you are going to have a bit of oh this is exciting and it's kind of the way you would play when you first played you're on your instrument and you're playing with friends and perhaps your friends aren't that proficient on their instrument they're learning on the spot you're learning on the spot and there's just this excitement and you're a bit nervous and you don't want to ruin the, that first gig or the first couple of gigs it's a kind of a magical moment and i guess what's really cool here is is kind of capturing that moment and honestly hats off to these drummers because this could fail right i mean i don't know if it spectacularly failed and someone looked really silly um i uh, maybe they wouldn't put it out i don't know or maybe they'll use it as an example of hey look everybody's human to just jump out there and, and play on it and i mean there were i guess structural mistakes there where he crescendoed and oh it was actually the breakdown and to again to be expected it's not my critique of him it's just an observation um and then he um you know might have missed the tom uh breakdown bit which there was a tom breakdown bit in the original song by the looks again i'm not it's not a critique and i'm not saying i'd do any better i wouldn't i thought that was actually kind of phenomenal but it shows you how real it is i remember and and this kind of reminds me of an interview i listened to with from memory i think it was on the art hit that podcast which if you haven't heard that get on it was either with brain or matt chamberlain i'll have to check it after this whichever one of those two gentlemen played with tom waits and there was a song that they were recording and i think tom waits on purpose did not show the drummer the song and they're in the studio like with his studio time and he's like hey play something along with this like literally no idea where the song goes how long it is where the verses where the choruses where the bridge if there is a bridge and tom waits info or you know feedback to the drummer was minimal and it was just you know just 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 play just play and there's not a very good story because i'm not remembering very good details about it but the 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 crux of the story was that whatever got recorded in that moment they just kept and that is on a recording where it's just literally playing a song that you've never either heard or played before and you don't know how the song goes and that's on a recording (laughs) and that's i guess kind of the freedom and breaking away from what we're used to which is what we're getting here i just think it's so cool one of the segments that i did at music school at my jazz degree was free jazz now a lot of people can go oh free jazz it's just just boring boring. or everybody's soloing at the same time doesn't make any sense yeah yeah (laughs) but 
the idea was to take us students out of our comfort zone and just say, hey, just play. Oh, what should I play? I don't know. Just play. Oh, well, time signature? Nope. Chords? Key signature? Nope. Just play something as a group. Now, make it happen. It's an interesting concept. I mean, what do you do? You might come up with something really cool. Necessity can be the mother of invention. And I think when you have to come up with stuff on the spot, sometimes you're going to come up with some really cool stuff. It's good to keep that recorder going too. Because you might come up with something, you know, and often the free jazz jams we would have, they would just get extended and extended and extended. I mean, everyone would end up dropping into something that was in their comfort zone anyway. But along the way, you might actually hit on something and go, hey, that was actually quite cool. Or it might have been cool how you got into it. Or it might have been cool how you got out of it. Because you are being thrust into that full immersion moment where you don't have a choice. It's just you play. Now, play. Uh, It's out of your comfort zone. It's quite cool. Anyway, I've gone off way on a tangent. I think these videos are brilliant. And again, hats off to the drummers and Chad Smith in this case for being game enough to try this. And that was awesome. The sound that will just have that Chad Smith sound. You know, there'd be a lot of times where people will try and emulate jazz drummers and and, uh, how they play the ride and like the, the sort of the exact stick sound and that sticky stick tone that they can get on um, recordings and analyze that and you know all these different things there's a whole nother world in rock drumming where people take it for granted and they think oh he's just hitting hard there was a certain swagger and way and like a stickiness that he was laying into the crash it was a thing of beauty it actually felt like time was slowing down the way he sort of almost went into like less a a lower subdivision and instead of riding the ride started crashing the ride and by lowering the subdivision sort of evened out the wash of the ride hopefully i'm explaining myself well it was just a lot of examples in this video of the genius of chad smith and why he has sold a lot of records and why he sounds so good on recordings because dude can play guys remember original video link in the description of the video please do go along check it out without me talking all over it and hey you as a subscriber of my channel you get access to a full and free 30-day trial at drumeo on me go and get it no risk cancel anytime i know for a fact that a lot of people you know they they think oh well I, I, there's heaps of free drumio stuff on youtube well there's free heaps of free drumio stuff over there you got no idea what you're missing out on the paid stuff and what's behind the curtain lessons with the world's best drummers like chad smith and the world's best educators it is truly crazy Six thousand plus song transcriptions go get on it wow john carney what a fantastic pick thank you so much for your support of the channel and guys keep chopping wood catch you next time ciao hey what is up wood choppers please do remember original video links as always in the description of each video please do go along check it out and support the artist if you enjoy my channel please do consider hitting that subscribe button like button and leaving a comment down below with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future if you would like to support my channel further i do have a patreon it's just five dollars a month and you will get access to the blocked videos if you have a reaction request that you definitely want to get on the channel the only way i can guarantee that at this point is via the paypal link and it supports the channel so thanks in advance and remember you as a subscriber of my channel you get access to a full and free 30-day trial over at drumio learn from the world's best drummers and drum teachers and they've got over six thousand songs in the database downloadable pds for those transcriptions or you can play along watch in the player slow down loop sections it is truly awesome go check it out 30 days free on me guys until next time keep chopping wood take it easy ciao